Lead me, Path. Lead me to my destination. Onwards. A passing gate is a sign of progress along my path. I must admit that I rather enjoy the progress. However, it seems I am met with a new challenge at every turn. These challenges require knowledge. Slightly worrying. As a god, I consider myself all-knowing. Why is it I must stop and think? Knowledge is obscured from me. All these eyes watching makes me a bit uneasy. Not a fan of onlookers, to be honest. That which I can see exists. Ah, oh, a bench. Brilliant. Something to rest my figurative head upon from all that adventurous walking. But I must be honest with myself. As a god, I feel no real need to rest. I know why I made a bench. Doesn't really make sense. Maybe I should rest as an example to others. Uh, no, there are no others. Don't understand why I filled the place with pots, either. I don't have anything to store. Maybe I should make lemonade. I'd need to invent lemons first, a few other things too. Time to start a list of inventions. Lemons, a lemon press, sugar, the abstract concept of sweetness. A tongue! I definitely need a tongue, but I need a body first. Legs, I want legs! Then I can have footsteps to accompany my walking. I find myself awfully ethereal currently, even for a god. A door that opens only when watched. Yet more evidence of my centrality to this narrative. It makes me wonder what is in the next room before I enter. Is there anything? Is it simulated? Is it culled because my mind does not have the power to imagine the whole world at one instant? Oh, for the sake of sanity, I choose to believe the world around the corner exists. Aha! There it is! Hiding. And I'm afraid not even you could escape my powers of observation. Wow! So many books, years of reading! But why would God read books that he's written? Then again, books written by God would be the best books. Why, why would I read books that I haven't written? I should write my own book. A book set apart from the rest. I wouldn't know what to call it. Autobiography, maybe. A Brief History of Life. Numa presents himself in Numa. Critics have called it the best book ever written. Winner of every writing prize for writing. The hallway called it the best book since records began. A small bench said it was a record-breaking record of historical records. Oh, I don't know what kind of book I would write if I didn't write an autobiography, though. Maybe uh, a piece of fiction. I could tell stories of magical doors that only open when watched. Maybe stories about a little wooden boy come to life. Maybe I'd write science books. As the creator of the universe, I could easily write an exhaustive science textbook. I mean, if I got something wrong, I could just change the rules of the universe to match the book. I could keep changing the laws of the universe and write new revisions. I could write every book on the face of the universe. There's still every book to write, and forever to write it in. I notice how things further away seem smaller. An increase in distance causes a decrease in size. This is called perspective. The irony is the implication. I must be the biggest thing in the world. <laughs> 